101 Crazy Crackle is part of the Artist Cement line from US ArtQuest. This is a unique product and you wouldn't use it as a cement per se. However, it does unique effects when it is dry. For instance, when it's dry it becomes opaque and you get these really beautiful crazing and crackling of paper, canvas, furniture, all kinds of surfaces no matter what you use it on. Uh, walls, you could use it on uh, little boxes and paper mache and you can use it on mat board. So this is a great product to use on all those surfaces. I would suggest that when you use Craze and Crackle on paper, you first apply a coat of perfect paper adhesive. What this does is it prevents the uh, paste from crackling and falling off of the paper uh, because it's going to be bent. This gives it a great deal of flexibility. So use a coat of PPA as sizing prior to applying the paste to flexible surfaces. When it is dry, it begins to craze and crackle and you can color it. In this case, we've just used a bit of a glaze and the glazing provides a beautiful coloration to the surface um, and that way you can color it either prior to or after uh, it's dried. Also on top of this you can see it's been rubber stamped with a small dragonfly and a permanent ink. black In this case over here we've just applied a little bit of dry powdered pigment to the paste itself before applying it to the board and you can see that it has a very nice crazing and crackling effect um, a bit transparent uh, uh, and some just very nice color. The more you add, the more color you will have, the more saturated color you will have. Here we've added obviously a great deal more color. This is also much thicker than this and notice the difference between the two. This one has quite a bit of crazing, crackling, and this one has cratering. The thicker it is, the more fissures you will have and the more cratering effects you will have. On textile, you're going to want to make sure that it is not a flexible piece. So if you're using it on canvas, make sure that you uh, apply, again, a coat of PPA to the surface to size the canvas prior to putting on the crazing and crackling. You can add, remember, you can add dry mica pigments prior to or do surface effects afterwards, such as we've done here with some um, acrylic uh, pigments. Here we've added actual pigment right to the craze and crackle prior to applying it to the board. A good acrylic that's compatible would be uh, perfect pigments because we make sure that our products are compatible with one another and they work in conjunction. This is a terrific product uh, for all kinds of interesting techniques that you will do in most any fine art and or craft application.